Uh, thanks, Roger. As you can see, this is nothing like Alaska here. It's 6 a.m. at Antelope Point Marina on Lake Powell. And we are about to take a boat ride to one of the most beautiful spots on the planet. We are on an epic journey here up to uh, wonderful Rainbow Bridge. We're celebrating 100 years of discovery there. Steve Carruthers is the manager of the Antelope Point Marina at Lake Powell. He, along with the Park Service, has organized a trip to Rainbow Bridge for a special 100th anniversary celebration. With us are representatives of several Native American tribes, including Navajo Nation Vice President Ben Shelley. Also, representatives of the Ute tribe, descendants of Jim Mike, one of the Indians that led the first expedition of the white man to Rainbow Bridge. What we call Rainbow Bridge today was known by the Anasazi and other canyon-dwelling Native Americans for centuries. They moved on in the 1400s. It wasn't until the late 1800s when word began filtering out from Utes and Navajo groups in the area. After the turn of the century, White Mesa Ute Jim Mike and San Juan Southern Paiute Najja Begay led a group of government surveyors and University of Utah researchers through the twisted, isolated canyons, over slick rock slopes and dangerous drop-offs, with the August sun heating the rocks to unbearable temperatures to reach the site at the base of Navajo Mountain, Rainbow Bridge. It was August 14th, 1909. 100 years later, their ancestors returned to mark the occasion. It is a spectacular sight, even to those who have seen it many times. And it is a sacred sight to those whose ancestors discovered the wonder and introduced it to the rest of the world. Now, there's a lot, a lot of uh, traditional culture stories related to it. Just about everything that we do as Navajo, we, uh, through prayers and the ceremony that we do, it's a symbol that the prayers and ceremony is never forgotten. Mary Jane Yazzie has the photograph of her great-great-grandfather, Jim Mike. He was pretty excited when he came upon it from what he would tell us. Now, returning to the site moves the soul of Mary Jane Yazzie. It gives me a very tender feeling and quite emotional, too. I just feel like breaking down and crying just because, you know, my grandfather, my kids, when they come here, they also feel the special moment, the special feeling. My name is Aldine Ketchum, and my traditional Ute name is Lightning Hawk, and I'm a traditional flute player. And I'm here to share a song with you today to commemorate this event and my great grandfather discovering this natural wonder. The ceremony at Rainbow Bridge comes to an end, and it's time to head back to Antelope Point. But the majesty of these flooded canyonlands continues to invoke awe. And as the evening sun sets over Antelope Point Marina, the spirits reappear as if to say, do not forget what you have seen and felt at this sacred site. Uh, as you know, Rainbow, a Rainbow, you see that every day. Uh, during, when it rains, you see a rainbow with a lot of lovely colors. You have white, blue, red, and green, yellow. It's a good thing, good omen. I guess every walk of life, seeing that beautiful rainbow, it just makes you feel uh, fresh, you know. It's a f nice rain, soft rain. Everything's peaceful, you know. Susan and Terry Wood, for At Your Leisure.